Just over an hour north of Las Cruces off US 70 East in Amagordo is the Tularosa Basin Museum of History, a pristinely restored building chock full of treasures. All right, Joe, so you have a very historically rich place here. So um, can you point out some flagship exhibits you have? Well, the, the, the building itself is one of them. It's from the 1930s, not super old, but just the history of the building was yeah. one of the things that really was impressive. When, that's why we had to save it. Before the plaza, it was, the plaza's been here since the 30s. Okay. But prior to that, it was another bar, uh, uh, the railroad bar that was here because of the railroads. But uh, it has all the history of the basin. The Tularosa Basin is not just Almogordo history. Mm -hmm. It's all the way from the Texas border all the way up to Carrizoza and the mountain communities all the way over. Mm -hmm. And we have all the stories from the atomic bomb and that type stuff, the stealth that was here, all the way to the chuck wagons and Mr. Prather, the, the last holdout against the federal government when they were taking all the ranch lands. Yeah. Uh, of course, Oliver Lee and the Billy the Kid story. Right. And then all through there, the 47 star flag, the first flag of New Mexico became part of the states. Which is it's a very unique thing, right? It's a unique, yeah. There's only two of those. And it was hanging over a bar in California for many, many years and nobody knew what it was. They just thought it was another American flag. Right. Too. Actually, it was a patron sitting at the bar. Uh -huh. Best way to describe him, I guess, is Norm and yeah. Cheers. And uh, said, there's 47 stars. People kind of ignored him for a while, like, eh, it's the beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe I'm kind of, no, yeah. no, 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 no kind of, start over. And then the guy, they actually counted him, realized there's 47 stars for a few weeks between Arizona and New Mexico coming in. Right. There was 47, then Arizona came and there was 48. So other than that, I know there's another key component to this whole museum. So tell me about the Atari. Uh, yeah, this is where the Ataris were dug up. <laughs> that number one urban legend in that story. And uh, kind of for a while there, the whole world went a little nuts over it. So what was the urban legend of the Atari? Atari buried these out here, and they were supposed to bury three million games out here. Now the city stopped them. So I owned the garbage company, and when the drivers came in, said, you should see what's going on at the dump. I drove out, saw the trucks, the semi-trucks, unloading crate after crate of these games. They did dispose of everything in that warehouse now. 3.2 million games and game systems. And it was supposed to be secret. The Atari denied it ever happened. But the problem was there was only one picture in the El Paso Times. And there was only two newspaper articles ever written on it. Wow. So there's no physical evidence that it ever happened. And then if Atari, the people that did it, deny it, how do you prove it? Yeah. And for and even though it happened in 1983, and people would ask me about it once in a while. I never knew it was a legend either. Got online, there's three and a half million hits. Wow. You know, people are talking about it all over the world, not just the United States, mm -hmm. I mean, Spain and Indonesia and Japan. Everybody's wow. talking about this legend. So it was a unique thing yeah. and no one else has that. So yeah. the mystery still goes on because uh, there was 3.2 million games to be d disposed. Wow. Only about 800,000 made it in here. So where's the other 2.4 million? That's a great question. Yeah, I know, but I'm not going to tell you. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn that later. <laughs> there are more legends outside these walls. Head to Oliver Lee Memorial State Park, where Lee's Ranch House still stands. And be sure to ask one of the rangers about Lee's hermit neighbor. Almogordo is a great launch point for these excursions with plenty of good lodging options. And no trip to Almogordo would be complete without a visit to White Sands.